Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to do a headlight restoration on the Civic behind me. I'm just gonna show you guys the driver's side headlight because going to the passenger side, there's some stuff that would be a little bit harder to film. So I'm gonna show you guys my whole process on how to restore headlights. All right, so the first step we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take my wash nut and my bucket of O&R. I'm just gonna wash the area around the headlight and the headlight itself, just to help get all the extra dirt off. And also on the headlight specifically, I'm gonna use a little bit of Super Clean to help clean even more dirt off before we start getting into taping it up and stuff like that. All right, so for the next process here, we're gonna do taping. You can do taping two different ways. One, you can lift the hood up so you don't have to take the whole top part of uh, the headlight where the hood is, or you can leave the hood down, whichever one you want to do. For a bit, I just like to put the hood up because it's just less area for you to possibly sand through on the edge and those are the thinnest parts. All I'm using here is 3M precision tape or regular masking tape works too. All right, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is IPA wipe down the headlights. We just don't want any oils or grease getting in our way of seeing what, the, what these headlights truly look like. So spray a little bit. I like to use Duplicolor Paint Prep as my IPA choice. I use it straight up. Flip the towel over and dry it off. And you let that dry, it'll probably dry here in probably the next 30 seconds. It'll really give you a good idea of what you're working with. All right, so now we're gonna move it on to the part that scares most people. We're gonna be sanding. What I'm gonna be using here is 800 grit sandpaper, which will be dry at first. And we're gonna, I'm using it on my Griot's Garage three inch polisher. What we're gonna go ahead and do is just hit the whole headlight, trying to get off all this oxidized, that's what causing this cloudiness is the oxidized um, coating that's on the headlight here. What you're gonna try to do is take all that off and then we'll refine it through multiple sanding and polishing steps after that. Sometimes some spots are a little too intricate to, to um, get the machine in there. As you just saw this very far corner, so all I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the thinning disc off and just put that by here. And if you don't have a polisher, you could do this whole process by hand. It's just gonna take you a lot longer. Get that and wipe that off. Uh, it's just a clean, dry towel. Yeah, as you can see, it looks like we got good coverage. And you go back and get that little spot and right there, but for the most part, it looks like we got good overall, but come back through and touch that stuff up, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, that looks like some good coverage. What I would recommend if you guys are doing both headlights, I'd probably say you're gonna use a sanding disc per headlight between, depending on how big the headlights are. Now, if you're doing like F-150, F-250 with bigger headlights, probably gonna say you're probably gonna need almost two sandpaper per thing. Just what happens is, as you can see here, it's all loaded up, it's all white, it's all that old 
coating I was telling you about on the headlights. All that's what all this dust is too. So that's what you'll have to, as you can see, it's really built up on the edges here. You'll just have to take it off, get a new one. So you're probably gonna go through quite a few sandpapers and quite a few polishing pads just because this stuff will load up the pads. But we're gonna go ahead and switch this out and do the other headlight and we'll come right back and show you the next step on this. All right, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna start wet sanding. First, we're gonna start off with 1500 grit wet sandpaper. I'm gonna use O&R as my um, wet sanding like lubricant. We're gonna do is spray the headlight with O&R, spray the pad down a couple times, and then go to town like we did with the 800 grit on removing then the, the point of the 1500 is to remove all the 800 grit scratches. That's what we'll keep doing is refining and refining the scratches. All right, so now what we're gonna do is be moving on to 3000 grit sandpaper. Same process as the 1500. We're gonna take 3000 grit sandpaper out on my three inch polisher. O and R is my lubricating agent again. We're gonna do the same thing we did for the 1500 to remove those 1500 scratches. Spray these off, see what these look like now. All right, that looks like all 3,000 grit scratches all throughout, so it looks like we're good to move on to the next step, which will be compounding for McGuire's microfiber cutting pad and McGuire's 105. All right, so now we're gonna get into the compounding phase to remove all the, the 3,000 grit scratches that we now have in the headlight. We're using this Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad and Meguiar's 105 compound. What you wanna do for microfiber cutting pads is you wanna get evenly spread out compound throughout the whole surface. So what you wanna do is take a couple dots and you wanna rub that in with your hand. until all the fibers have an equal and even amount of compound on them. All right, that looks like we got it spread out pretty good. Then I'm gonna add a, another drop on here and then I'm gonna go ahead and start polishing. Grab a clean, dry towel, see what that looks like. I grab my IPA here, just move all those polishing oils just so we can see a little better. And it looks like I didn't quite refine the sanding scratches right down here. So what we're gonna do is come back through on my hit this little lower section of 1500 and 3000 again, and then come back through and polish again. Cause like I said, it looks like I didn't quite refine it enough down here. So it looks like I just need to come back through, through all these edges here and hit them with some 3000 grit. Looks so like I had some 1500 grit or 800 grit sanding marks left over. And this little turn signal area too. So what I'll do is come back there and hit all that with 3000 again. And then I'll recompound again.
All right, looks like we got it. Let's move on to the other side. All right, so the next step now is gonna be the final polishing step. I'm using here is a Rupus yellow pad, and I'll be using Sonex Perfect Finish as my polish of choice. So what I'm gonna do here is same step, basically same premise as we did with the compounding. What you wanna keep doing is refining and refining, refining the scratches. Compounding does leave some finer scratches, but it does remove the sanding, so now we need to remove the compounding scratches before we apply the coating onto the headlights. So we're gonna go ahead and get on that. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and do is IPA wipe down the headlights again, just to remove any polishing oils and leftover stuff like that that's still on the headlights. In preparation for our coating, we find Meguiar's headlight coating. I, per I personally like this better than those um, like Duplicolor clear coats and stuff. I find this works a lot better, and I've had this on my mom's car for probably about eight to nine months now and it's still withholding and she barely washes and I don't think has ever waxed her car. So the saying it'll last up to a year, I believe that. So we're gonna go ahead and IPA wipe them down and then dry them off and then hit them with the headlight coating. And with this, it's, this is an aerosol. Be careful of overspray, but the nozzle on this is actually very thin so it's it's really hard to try getting overspray. You had to try and spray onto other panels, but try and keep it just right inside the headlight. Don't be up here trying to spray at this very top edge. You're gonna get hit, hit your fender. So just be smart about it. Make sure your headlight is completely dry before you do this because this coating will not stick if there's any kind of moisture left over. We're gonna go ahead and let that sit for about three to five minutes. And then in that three to five minutes, what I like to do is I'll take off all this tape that's surrounding. Actually, no, we'll keep the tape because we need to do a second round. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and wash. As you can see, there's, there was polish that got flown everywhere and that's just what happens when you're trying to get to this edge. What we'll do is remove all that. I'll go ahead and wash all that off for him. Just so he doesn't have polish flung all over his car. And then what we'll do is come back through, hit it with the second coat, and then we'll remove the tape and then we'll be all set. When you're washing, you wanna make sure you avoid touching the headlight at all because any, any water will mess with the coating, so don't be very careful of also like water slinging off your mitt and hitting onto the headlight because you don't want that or you're gonna have little spots that are gonna fail. So we're gonna go ahead and just clean off all this polish that's all in the exterior on the fenders and the grill and stuff and get that washed off for them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that second coat, take off this tape, finish drying up, looking for any polish that we may have missed and move on from there. And with this headlight coating, once you put, apply that second coat, you really don't want it to get it wet Preferably for a day, but I think if you read the instructions on the can, I think it says, okay, it does say 24 hours. So you don't really want to get it wet for 24 hours if you can avoid it. And then after that, I'll tell the person, if you're a professional, tell your customer every time they wash your vehicle to wax their headlights. Or if you're doing this yourself, what you do is just wax it every time you wash it. Now it'll help build more and more protection onto the headlights to maybe even last the coat, make the coating last even longer. But after about a year, I mean, it wouldn't take much, just an IPA wipe down on the headlight. Reapply this, just one layer, and you're good to go for another year. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys liked it, hit the like button. If you guys got any comments, drop them down in the comment section below.